Welcome back to They Did What, your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories, where I go with them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, going to go to a story title, Am I the a-hole for threatening my wife with divorce after she quit her job to become a trad wife? And shout out to Robert for sending me this story. And guys, this is about a guy, he is 34, wife is 33, they have two kids together, married for eight years. And out of nowhere, his wife started showing him these boneheaded TikTok videos about trad wives. As in, like, wives are all traditional and they cook and clean and probably dress like June Cleaver or something like that. And basically, she wants to quit her job and have everything on him. And he wasn't having it. And then you're going to see how the blue she does it anyway. And now he's thinking about ending it with her. And it's been a big, gigantic drama fest. At one point, he even left her. And as you can imagine, it's been a whole crap storm. And I'll be going to go over here, guys, just to show you on multiple fronts here how, again, when a woman loses respect for a guy, that's it. That's when a lot of BS begins. And typically, a lot of guys become, they may start off, you know, you have some guys that are P-whipped from the beginning. But other guys that slowly over time, they become more and more P-whipped to the point that wife has no respect for them. And they wonder where a lot of the crap and disrespect comes from. Don't get me wrong, the gals in these stories that behave this way to their husbands are a-holes, but the guys don't help the situation. And this guy here is now trying to lay down the law with her, and it's been quite the circus. And ultimately, it seems like he may be kicking her to the curb. But I'd be going to go over here, guys, like I said, for those reasons about the whole respect thing. And also, there's a point, guys, you can't tolerate any crap. And if you don't, and if you do, you're going to see what happens here. And if you are married, and you got married with the understanding and agreement that both both parents are going to work and help out con contribute financially as well with the kids and one suddenly changes the terms of the relationship or the arrangement you have a reason to have a problem with it and i might add that the situation was reversed and it was the guy decided to up and quit and put all everything on her and amongst many other things i had no problem she'd be pissed off at him too so there'll be going to go over here guys particularly for you relationship type of guys that are married it says uh, i don't even know where to begin with this me, a 34-year-old male, and my wife, a 33-year-old female, have two kids together, 11-year-old boy and 9-year-old gal, girl. Me and my wife have been together for 12 years and married for 8. Around a year ago, I noticed my wife increasingly sending me these trad wife or traditional housewife TikToks. Oh, for goodness sake. Grown-ass mother on TikTok watching this stupid crap. I have nothing against that type of relationship, but I don't think it makes sense for our current family situation. I do earn quite a bit more than my wife and enough to sustain our family on my own, but I don't see the need to do so. I work 80% my wife works 50, my wife 50%. And besides Wednesdays where, where the uh, both of us are working, either one of us is always home for the kids. I can work 100% and let my wife work, be a stay-at-home mom, but again, both of my kids are attending school, and in my mind, there's no need for my wife to be at home 24-7. Exactly. She got increasingly pushy about it over the past two months. And again, I just kept on telling her that there was any need for us to do that. And if we did decide to go down that route, what would she do with the hours my kids attended school? I know darn well our house doesn't need to be cleaned up for six hours a day. She constantly tried to butter me up with, you would have dinner ready every day when coming home from work, and something about unlimited BJs or some BS like that. Um... As your husband, I should be getting unlimited BJs or something like that. Again, in the nicest way possible, I would remind her that our kids weren't toddlers and our current work-life schedule allowed us to function perfectly fine. There you go. That's been their life all along. That's what he signed up for. He didn't sign up for this traditional wife type of thing, you know. But uh, hey, that'd be certainly nice if you uh, prepare meals anyway and you have the time to do it most of the time. And back to that unlimited BJ type of thing. We got into a pretty heated argument two weeks ago about it, and my wife completely stopped having essays with me to show me what I would be missing out on. She basically has been treating me like a roommate since. So she's punishing you. Um, I'd be like, okay, then if you're going to withhold the SCX to punish me, then I'm going to cut off the credit cards that you use that are obviously not the accounts I opened up for. And there's going to be a hold on your spending and that type of thing. So if you no SEX for me, no spending for you. I just thought she would get over it, and this was was a this was a phase. But God, was I wrong? Yeah, well, smack to you for allowing that shit. I came home from work yesterday and saw a bunch of presents on the di the dining table. At first, I thought they were all for me since my birthday wasn't a week. 
But then I saw the labels on them addressed to my wife. I read one of the letters attached to one of the presents. The last sentence on it was literally, it was so, it was, uh, so a pleasure working al- alongside you, and I wish you all the best moving forward. I thought this was some such sick prank. A few minutes later, my wife casually strolled into the living room and acted like nothing was wrong. I guess she saw me mad, my mad expression, and had the audacity to tell me, you'll get over it, and I just lost it. In other words, she quit her job. Just like that. What a load of crap. They are a team. It's how it works. You are raising children. You and the wife are a team. In one form or another. And you're counting on her for the money. And you both have to agree. Situation was reversed. And he wanted to stop working. You bet your ass. She'd be pissed off if he stopped working, right? I just left without saying another word and went to my parents' house. I feel absolutely disrespected. You were disrespected. And tells me everything which she says about you. But the thing is, she just feels entitled to sit on her ass all day. And yeah, she says she's going to cook and everything and clean. But what, is she going to dress up like fucking June Cleaver as well? Is she gonna be How traditional is she going to be? Is she going to dress like fucking uh, June Cleaver or some of the crowd, some of the women from Little House on the Prairie? Is she going to go bring water from the well into the house? And uh, you get the point. Why the fuck would my wife think this was okay to just quit her job without telling me and just expect me to be fine with it? Because she thinks she has all the power. That's why. My wife's been bombarding me with texts and calls demanding to know where I am and the kids miss me. Notice he said demanding, not worried or upset, demanding. Again, her actions say everything. She has no respect for this guy. She thinks he's a pushover, and I guarantee you that's why he's not getting unlimited BJs, and he wouldn't anyway. I just told her to go find a lawyer, and I was done with her, and then proceeded to block her. Nice, bro. Now she knows that she pushed the wrong guy. Guys... Women do not love you if they don't respect you. I've been saying this a bazillion times. And all women need to know, if you guys do relationships, that if they cross you, they cross whatever boundaries you've set, or whatever that happens to be, and you're willing to walk and be done. They have to know this. If they don't, then they're they're not going to truly respect you and therefore never love you. Notice how women eat out of the palm of the hands of the bad boys. Why? Because they respect the bad boys. They may not like how they treat them sometimes, but they sure as hell respect them. And last time I checked, they tend to chase after the bad boys. And they tend to do pretty much whatever the bad boys do in bed. Because they respect them. Again, and oftentimes they're mad at the bad boys and crying over the bad boys, but who do they chase? Better for a woman to think you're an asshole than a pushover. So my son sent me a voicemail crying and asking why I was divorcing mom and I was leaving the family and I guess that kind of broke my heart. Well, that would be heartbreaking because it's not your son's fault. And she manipulated your son. I've responded and honestly don't know what to say to him. My mother-in-law has also been demanding that I return home and apologize to my wife. Uh, Hey, mother-in-law, this is my family, not yours. Mind your own fucking business. Or you won't be seeing the grandchildren very much on my watch. My parents also seem to be selling my wife since they are traditional Muslims. My mom also used to be a stay-at-home mom. Mom and Dad, I love you, I respect you, but this is my house, my family, you need to stay out of it. Or you won't be seeing the grandkids very much either. I feel like I'm wrong for immediately jumping to divorce without hearing her out and besides this whole, whole job drama. I do love my wife too much for this to be the end of our relationship, otherwise perfect marriage, but on the other hand, I feel like I've completely lost trust in her. Yeah, you've lost trust in her. She is being a bad teammate, and she disrespects you. You can't have a relationship without trust. You sure as hell can't have a healthy relationship without respect. And look how she's treating you here, you know? Yeah, I get you love her, and she's the mother of your kids, blah, 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 but this is no way to live. He says, should I just swallow my pride and let my wife stay at home from now on, or should I follow through on divorcing her? How should I navigate the situation? Am I the a-hole here? No, bro, you're not the a-hole. She has been the a-hole. She's been first started by showing those stupid ass TikTok things which I, I don't know why she watches TikTok and by the way how funny would that be if TikTok is banned here in the US <laughs> that will help YouTube out big time which means that YouTubers will do better make more money but anyhow just had to point that out but uh, I'm not against I'm against censorship but TikTok is just fucking garbage so but no bro if you, if you, if you just let this slide then then she'll be pulling more, more bull crap that's what's going to happen. She's going to be pulling more bullshit on you and she'll have even less respect for you. 
No, you, you have to stand by this. And there's no way to live with someone treating you like this. And it's not what you signed up for. Now for the update. He says, uh, first of all, I want to thank you guys for the overwhelming support that I've received. I've received a ton of messages, but please be patient with me. This week has definitely been tough on me. This whole family drama has definitely taken a toll on me physically and mentally. I bet, especially that he's got his family and her family giving him shit. I just want to add a few crucial details I missed to mention in my original post. I suffer from a uh, genetic heart condition that puts me at risk to stress, stress-induced stress cardiac arrest. I used to work full-time but was forced to cut my hours of work after suffering a silent heart attack. This was nearly a decade ago, since, and since then I've worked my own physical and mental well-being. Some people didn't understand my, my constantly mentioning why it was such an issue, working the extra 20%. Yeah, people were getting shit saying, fine, let her stay at home and do all that stuff and give you your extra BJs and clean the house and cook, and you can just work more. Well, he's got heart issues, that's why he scaled back. And she knows this, but she doesn't give a shit. I honestly don't know how much time I have left, and my kids are the most important thing in my life. For my own mental health, it's essential that I get to spend time with my kids throughout the week. Besides my wife and kids, I have nothing. I hate my fucking job and purely continue for the sake of my kids and wife. Yeah, he's doing you know, he's doing it all for his family. But uh, I don't want to hear that you have nothing else in your life aside from your kids and especially not your wife. Guys, I, I get, I don't have, I'm not a parent, so I don't get that part, okay? I, I, or at least I don't have experience in that part, but I know it's like to love very much people and things that are important to you, but still, you have to have other things in your life other than that, you know? And certainly not your wife, for God's sakes. We know that one. <clears throat> Well, after spending the day at my parents' house, eventually I felt enough time had passed for me to gather my thoughts on everything. What she did seemed like the ultimate slap in the face, but I went back with the intention to resolve this and didn't want to escalate this fucking nightmare. What she did was a slap in the face, and it sounds like you're caving, dude. My wife seemed happy I returned, but wasn't apologetic at all. There you go. There you go. She won. She just sat back and played the poker and... And uh, kept her cool, and, and you came to her first. Now she has the fucking power. And it's only going to get worse now. The kids, especially my son, were ecstatic. That sort of made me ignore the lack of remorse for the time being. That same night, after putting my kids to bed, I told her we need to have a serious discussion. Yeah, that's good you said that, but she's probably like, Okay, asshole, you're the one that came back. Ha ha ha. I told her how I felt about everything she did. The fact that she knows about my health condition and still went through with it all. The fact that I set clear boundaries and still she chose to quit her job without my consent. How the fact that she told my son that I was going to abandon the family really felt like a stab in the back. It was. She was manipulating the kids to manipulate you. You know, I mean, the kids were obviously upset enough that you were gone. And I get why you left, but then she's now using them. It's terrible. How through all this, she didn't even seem remorseful once. The fact that she chose her own happiness to the detriment of mine. The fact I sacrificed so much for the family and I got repaid like this. The fact that we now as a family have to make major lifestyle changes since a third of our family income vanished. Exactly. She doesn't care, which tells me you're a paycheck to her, nothing more. You can't be with someone like this. And this is the problem when a guy makes his whole life happiness his wife and kids. I can kind of get the kid part, but even then you got to have other things, but your wife? fat fucking chance when a guy does that and she's the sole center of his universe and the sun rises and sets with her what happens to those guys you all know they ain't getting bjs every day they ain't getting bjs ever and they're getting disrespect and shit on for a, se- a split second i saw an ounce of sadness in her eyes before she went right back to being annoyed with me she wasn't sad she probably had an eyelash in her eye i then simply told her to lay out half her story on the table here is a summary of what she said. Oh, can't wait to hear this bullshit. She felt ignored by me, constantly rejecting her proposal. She had worked long enough and said this was finally the time for her to enjoy her life as a true wife. True wife, my ass. You've been a true wife up until this point. Now you're being a fucking asshole. Ignoring already. She's ma- manipulating him, making he's the bad guy here. She also said that I was being a baby about the whole spending extra time with the kids thing. Oh, now she's insulting his manhood. Notice this tactic, guys? That really pissed me off, and we ended up getting into a heated argument. 
Never fight with women. You're never going to win. I would have walked right back. I would have walked right back out. Told the kids you love him. Mom's being a cunt, guys. I'm out of here. <laughs> I couldn't bury him anymore and just end up sleeping in the guest room. Smack. Why don't you make her bitch ass sleep in the guest room? Until yesterday, nothing changed. She constantly tried to play everything off and wanted to embrace her new role by constantly trying to have SCX with me and by making me my favorite dishes. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to touch you. I just felt like she was trying to manipulate me again as I wasn't having any of it. I just kept on sleeping in the guest room. You bet your ass she's manipulating you. You're like, a, a, it's like a game to her. Well, my birthday was yesterday, and after work, my wife and kids picked me up and we ate dinner together. This was probably the first time I genuinely had a smile on my face in a week. Well, that smile vanished because she tried to seduce me again later that night. More with her traditional wife thing. I'm wondering, were there BJs involved or was it just her like, alright, come on, let's get this over with. I rejected her and in my surprise she had a full on mental breakdown. Really? No. A woman's rejected and had a mental breakdown? That's never happened ever. I just held her at I just held her as she started apologizing for what she did. She claimed she didn't understand how much she hurt me and she was so sorry for making me feel like an afterthought, etc. Bullshit. More mind fucking from her. First she's shaming you, then yelling at you, and then now she's flipping the script by seducing you and now pulling the waterworks. I mean, this guy's just, his, his brain's spinning around like the fucking Tasmanian devil. Like, what the fuck? Ugh. <sighs> We ended up sleeping in the same bed yesterday. I felt like things were finally moving in the right direction, and I again asked her about searching for a new job today. Instead of getting mad, she just replied, I, I need to think about it. She ain't going to be thinking about shit, dude. Yeah, that's where things are as of today. It feels like progress is being made, but I don't know. This is just maybe another manipulation tactics of hers. I'll probably make a final update in a month or so. Reddit isn't doing my mental health any favors. How would you guys be for in this situation? Could I have done something better? Is she being genuine? And to all those incels who constantly bring up Islam as a way to justify her behavior, please shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, I would say this situation ain't getting better until her ass gets back and gets a job. And I say job, I don't mean for two hours a week. I'm talking back to her career because it ain't fair to you being this all on you. So when she gets back to uh, restart her career and also cooks and cleans and is now and he actively wants to sleep with you, then you can consider a future with her. But beyond that, I would talk to a lawyer, find out all your options and make it clear. Either you're getting a fucking job and you're going to continue on the career blah, 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 or I'm done. End of freaking story. Women respond to strength. Even if they're mad at you, even if they're crying, even if they're calling you a fucking asshole and throwing goddamn dishes at you, which, by the way, you're reaching that point, it's over. But you get the point is, women do not respect weakness. And along the way, probably over time, slowly but surely, because these things usually happen slowly over time, this guy became probably more and more pee-whipped because you heard, said his whole life is his wife and kids. I got no problem about the kid part as long as he has other things going on there. And he doesn't sacrifice too much of his happiness. But she lost respect for him, and this is what he gets. So he needs to either lay down the law and make sure it sticks, otherwise move on. I'm abundantly clear. But even then, if she gets another job and a career, she'd be harboring resentment and speaking to lawyers behind the scenes. So I just don't see this working out too well. But this guy ultimately is going to have to do what he has to do. And he loves his kids, and understandably, he doesn't want his kids hurt through a divorce and all that ugliness. I mean, he left for a day, and he already saw it with the, pull, the shit she was pulling with his son. I can only begin to imagine if it became real. And he has to do what's best for him, not what his mom and dad says, and not what her parents say. It's his family, his situation, not their goddamn business. That's what I think. Now some comments here, and I might add one of them is going to be from a divorce attorney. And you get to hear what the divorce attorney says. The first one, and this is not the divorce attorney, says, Do not take any more hours at work or change your schedule at all. Keep on doing what's best for you and make other changes around the house as needed to make up for the lack of income. If you pick up more hours, she will see that she, she can and in her mind will f further justify her actions were okay. She will for sure won't make any effort to find a job after that. Instead, cut out frivolous things she does with her money since she's the one who gave up her part of the income. Like getting her nails done, hair done, buying extra clothes and accessories that aren't necessary. There you go. Cut her off with the money. 
she can cut costs and do some of those things at home for a fraction of the price. Tell that she needs to start clipping coupons and buying things on sale and not a full price. If she wants to not contribute financially, then she will need to contribute more than just making food, cleaning the house, and trying to have SEX with you all the time. She will have to sacrifice living in the level of uh, comfort that she's grown accustomed to because the money for it isn't there anymore. Exactly. So she likes shopping at certain types of stores. Well, she's going now to discount retailers. If she likes to stay at certain type of hotels when they go on vacation, well, now she's staying at a more discounted hotel. You get the point. Probably won't like that too much. Another one. This guy says, she is manipulating you. Throwing her body at you didn't work, so she's restored to a pity party of tears and empty apologies. He says, see, I can get his attention one way or the other. Adding your health issues to this story brings another layer of complexity that just makes your wife look like an awful, terrible, heartless woman. Her, her, her sounds like a narcissist, honestly. She will literally drive you into the ground and hold the shovel waiting. Uh, do you have life, life insurance policies by any chance? The guy's being sarcastic, but he's making his point. And the last one, this is from a divorce attorney. He says, divorce attorney here, bro, your marriage is toast. I'm sorry to tell you this, but you, you will feel much better once you accept that. She is the ultimate gaslighter, really of epic proportions. Her level of manipulation is not something that anyone should tolerate. I suggest you go talk to a divorce attorney right away to plan things to get actual legal advice. He also says, this is not legal advice, but if it were me, I would take her off of every bank account and credit card with your name on it. File divorce ASAP before she goes on a spending rampage and tries to claim that it's all marital debt that needs to be divided up. And make a plan about what you want to do about the house and the kids. In my state, you cannot lock her out of the house, but you can legally take the kids and move out. If that's what you want to do, don't tell her any of your plans before you execute because she will definitely try to manipulate you. Good luck. And there you go. That is from the divorce attorney. And I always say listen to the lawyers. And he said, this is not, I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm telling you what I would do in this situation. So I wish this guy the best. But again, guys, you can't take the disrespect and and the whole thing about women and weakness. But doesn't surprise me here. All right, guys, that is it for today. <clears throat> today, be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.